Hello Lola, welcome to my channel guys. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, be a part of the notification squad because there is going to be a few more live streams and you can actually join in now. Isn't that cool? I'm sure you guys have been seeing this around where you can actually join into the live stream, be a part of the chat, be on the YouTube channel, that is awesome. Um, also, guys, if you want to join the chat box for exclusive live streams, more private kind of con doll conversation and other conversations, you can do so by clicking the link in the description bar, which is $1.99 a month, and you must be uh, 18 years old to join. Also, guys, I do have merch, so if you want to buy any of my merch, please also click in the link in the description bar. Now that we've got all that done, I'm going to do a kit review of two of the kits that I've gotten in and I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to start out with um, the one that I will be starting alongside Maddie by Bonnie Brown. This is Lulu by Joanna Kaznarak, and I'm sure I butcher her name all the time, but... um. She's number 234 out of 2,100 kits. Wow, I didn't realize the edition was that that large. But there you have it. Um, I think this doll was a big hit because of the fact that it actually was a silicone baby made from this kit that sold for like a whopping of 25, 26, 28, I don't know, thousand dollars. So everybody went cuckoo bananas over it and then she turned around and made a 2100 um, edition vinyl kit. Now, I don't want to talk myself out of a, a sale, but I will insert that I want to pay $28,000 for a kit, a doll that's going to be turned into that big of a vinyl edition. But... For us vinyl lovers, it worked out perfectly for us because now we get to put our own spin on this exquisite baby. <laughs> um, and I am going to lay it all out and then I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on it. And as you guys know, I do not sculpt. I only paint. So my opinion of sculpting can only go so far. As I don't feel like I have the right to say too much as I can't do it myself <laughs> but um, as a collector and a painter I can tell you what I like and not what I don't necessarily like so um, first off let me say this baby will be offered as a fully completed baby um, once completed um, she did come with a body or I did or I don't know if I ordered this up but she does have her own body and a tummy plate as well. Now let me get, let me get where I can show you these things a little bit better. Now that is my Katie Lou in the background, which is a different sculpt, so let me not confuse you. I shouldn't have never had her in here, to be honest, but. All right, so let's see what you guys can see. So let's start with her limbs, okay? We'll save the best part for last, okay? So we'll start with her limbs. So, she has little bent um, legs, which I was a little concerned about if I would like her legs, but I'll be honest, I was, I was actually um, surprised that I actually do like the baby look. They're very baby, you know? So, um, really cute legs. I really like the legs. Little fat, kind of fat, little chubby look. To them um, feet are not so big but they're not too small and they actually ha look like they're kind of fat and chubby little stubby toes kind of like they're all together make sure let me turn some of this light off so you guys can see okay so they're all together so you, this um, all together is Sometimes challenging making sure you don't get the little paint caught down up in there, but 
and it has some detail at the bottom of the feet for those that like the little crinkly wrinklies it is a little bit more of a challenge when we have the crinkly wrinklies when you're painting it to make sure that it doesn't the paint don't settle when you leave it there but I'm learning to get better at that that's one of my struggles but yeah um pretty good neutral color vinyl I don't really care too much about the vinyl I neutralize it if need be and how I feel fit to do so um anyway so that is that and then she has a fist but not a full fist it's kind of like a almost closed fist so she has these little two little fingers sticking out a little thumb out and I'm not sure if she can suck her thumb but it's kind of cute it's sticking out and we made I'll check that out for you guys and then she have a hand that's sim pretty much open and all the fingers are separate which is really cute and the wrist is kind of bend in like that you know babies do stuff like that they're bend in it's got little fat rolls in the inside of the arm so these are the arms I would have liked the arms to be a little bit longer but then I don't know my proportion so who knows but they are the the hands and stuff is nice um, I think it matches with the limbs and everything so the face <laughs> the face the $28,000 face <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is the cutest little face. Kind of reminds me of Riva, Riva Chic dolls, but um, it is so gorgeous. I love the lips, full lips. You can do a lot with this mouth. You hear me? It is so cute. I just want to squeeze the cheek so I can imagine the person with the silicone baby. Probably just like really loving it. The nose is the nose hold. <laughs> is deep enough to where it actually looks like it's open beautiful 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 ears um got that little wrinkle part remember that fold that zoe by claire teller had you know on her thing it's kind of got that little fold thing going on it she is cute it actually would make a really cute boy too so this face is really unisex i really like that too because you can really go either way with it you you know so i really love it it's a great definition in the eyes sometimes when people do sleepers they don't give enough definition in the eyes i love painting that part so i'm gonna really enjoy painting this kit overall i think this baby is really great and one of the things i've never did this type of belly plate before but it's a full wrap around which i think is going to be amazing for pictures because you don't have to worry about the side showing so I really think I'm gonna love that so I'm thinking this baby will actually be a pretty a pretty good size actually so let's 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 put this together oh you know when you you like it as a blank you know it's gonna be like I really almost like thought maybe i should keep this one but i can't keep this one and i'll tell you why in a few seconds um first of all i kept i'm keeping my toddler which is a huge hit for me because i was really expecting to to do well with selling that one but i cannot part with her and so um i can't i have to be very careful on which kits i keep out of all these little pre-orders that's coming in so let me lean over a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more but this is Lulu and I'll get a little closer so you guys can see her lovely face those lips <laughs> this baby will make um, a beautiful uh, ethnic baby as well as Caucasian baby the face screams both <laughs> Um, something about the structure of the nose and like that kind of like it's like to me screen Caucasian but the fullness of the lips and stuff and see this is what what I um, can I insert a little bit more commentary here this is what I think that people get mixed up about doing ethnic babies they think they need to give these really scrumptious overly done lips and nose and stuff really this is a fullness enough for an ethnic baby in my opinion um most ethnic people don't have 
lip spread all the way across their face or tooted out and wide noses from eye to eye or ear to ear. Um, but people tend to sculpt us that way. But that's not a large variety of people, you know, from African American, uh, the African Americans. But anyway, that is just my take on that. But I think overall, again, Lulu by Joanna Kasmarak is a definitely win for me. It's one I can't, and that's why I probably too, I don't take customs as much. And I do more, if I do a private order, it's a kit that I choose or a kit that I, if they suggest a kit and I like it because I can't, I can't paint. I have a hard time painting a kit that I do not like. So I was so pleased and happy that I actually liked the legs more than I thought I would. So I really love this baby and I'm really excited. So I'm going to clean the kit up really good and then I'm going to paint, start painting that one today alongside Maddie. Um, the next kit that I'm about to show you guys is a kit, the reason why I cannot keep that kit, <laughs> because I'm going to keep this kit. <laughs> so this one is Susu by Natalie Blick, and I did like the color theme with this baby minus the eyes, but of the prototype, I mean... So I thought this was gorgeous. For those that like light color eyes and stuff, that's fine. For me, I I would never do that color eyes for my personal choice. But I thought she did a great job and she actually inspired me to want to paint this kit. So kudos to the prototype artist. But this is uh, Susu by Natalie Blick. So, and she is limited to 999. This is 657 out of 9. 199 let's see if you guys can see that of 999 wow the kit editions are really getting big but so half the size of the other kit edition so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to lay the kit out so let me let me look this way so i can see what i'm doing it's a fairly big kit i think this one is like 23 24 inches something like that so it's fairly it's fairly big kit. Is it something on my? Okay. So. I'm not sure if Susu is sold out yet. Um, she doesn't have her eyes in. I do have eyes for her already. Something I normally don't do. But I, was, I had her in mind when I was ordering eyes. So I just went ahead and ordered a pair for her. Um, I actually ordered two. Whichever one that Maddie didn't use, she was going to use basically is how it went. So I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to start with the limbs and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think. So apparently I like it <laughs> because I'm actually keeping this one for my personal collection. I am actually trying to build my personal collection. Um, Natalie Blick was my first love. The very first custom I've ever gotten was a Natalie Blick doll and I was so in love with Natalie Blick, but Natalie Blick kind of stopped for a while and then blah, 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 and you know how the story goes. And then I became a big fan of Claire and Bonnie Brown, Tenny Cooley, like stuff like that. But anyway, let's start with this foot. This foot have all open toes. Oh my God, I am gonna so rock this kit. I wanna paint this kit like today, but I'm not. See, I have to save my personal ones for when I've sold a few, because it's gonna take away. From everything else the bottom of the feet has detail but um let me see it's not like deep creases it's a very natural subtle thing and you can actually I think you can actually see like a finger almost like a fingerprint or something where she probably did and that ah oh, that's the beauty of art wow man that means that oak was amazing. Um, so anyway, and then, then it has like kneecaps and she has the little natural little fat rolls. Oh, real sculpting. Oh, ay, 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 ay. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this one just have one foot thing, little one toe open and the bottom, but the toes have the little detail and look all like 
chubby chub. You can see the cl the clay where maybe she didn't co quite blend it in. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but you can definitely see like it's cute. I don't know. She has like kind of like little cankles too, which is kind of cute. Um, and I normally don't like that, but a little fat overlay and then there's the knees. And then, um, like I said, she has these little fat rolls. And I really, I really like it so much. Okay, let's start with the closed fist. She nailed it once again, Natalie Blick. Again, why she's one of my favorite artists. I've always loved her hands and feet. She, she's kind of back down on her hands and feet a little bit than what she used to do. But you can still see her work in there. And it's probably got to do with the manufacturer. I hear a lot of sculptors say they have to simple down their work for the manufacturer. But look at the detail, the the nails. They, they're going to be so gorgeous. It's a lot of room to really put in work in the nails. And I'm really going to focus on that. Um, so, yeah. So, little elbows, fat rolls again. A very chubby little short little arm here. Um, and then this one is a little bit more extended. <laughs> and she has the open hand. Little fat fingers. I love... Like I said, I love that there is some little things that some people might call imperfections, but I find beautiful art, and I'm like over here drooling over the kit. Sorry, this is my first time really looking at it with you guys as well. Um, like really looking at it. Um, but yeah, look at that, that hand. Oh my god! Yes! 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 Natalie Blake giving us something here. And then the little elbow. And you can see that her work is similar. You know, like some people said she kind of, this face reminded them of the Chloe. And it does. Because artists have their style. Normally real sculptors have a particular style. It doesn't look the same. But you can tell that it's a Natalie Blick baby. And I like that. I can really appreciate that. these ears. When I saw the ears, okay, this is so stupid. I told you guys I'm very weird. When I saw the ears, I took the baby out the box like this. I saw the shape of the head and I saw the ears. I said, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> Based off the ears and the head shape, I was like, I'm keeping that one. And I turned her around and oh my gosh, she has the cutest little lip. Oh my goodness. And it's a little open. And I probably could do a modified pacifier if I really wanted to, but... Yeah, I just put magnets in. Um, but nice eye sockets and stuff. Beautiful, you know, sculpted nose. The, the, the profile is gorgeous on this one. You can turn it from any angle and it looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Did I not get a body for her? Oh my God, I didn't get a body for her. What the heck? Okay, so I'm going to have to find me someone to make custom bodies. I had someone, but she just kept saying she would do it and send me an invoice, and she just never came through, followed through, so that, that kind of bummed me out. I'm pretty still bombed out about it. Um, but, you know, people get busy. Personal stuff come up. Their life get crazy. I don't know what happened. Maybe she just... Or maybe I did a video that something or somebody, I don't know, you never know, who cares. Anyway, <laughs> um, gorgeous baby. So this is Susu by Natalie Blick. She's going to be a pretty big, big size baby. Um, but yeah, I think she's gorgeous. Um, I will say for me, this is just my personal opinion, but I'm a person that like bigger feet. I would say as well... This foot, I don't know though, because this foot is pretty decent size. No, I think she did okay with the feet size, actually. I take that back. I think she, she's, I think she's perfect, actually, when I look at it. Because I was thinking the feet should be a little bit bigger, but actually, no. It's actually perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder what size shoes she'll wear. Huh. Let me see. I have a pair of shoes over here right now. I doubt she can fit as, no, she can't fit the zero. Um, she might be able to fit a size one. Um, she might even be able to fit a size two. If my camera don't go dead, I'll try to grab them really quick for you guys. Because I know a lot of people always want to know what size shoes the babies wear. I don't think I have a size one. 
in the baby deer I do have a size two so I'm gonna check the two I, I, I need to order that one. I need to order size one how do I not have a size one so this is a two and it does get, it is a little bigger so I think she would definitely go with a one but you know with socks and all that good jazz I, I think she'll be fine to wear these the size two if I didn't want to just buy a size one to have a size one for my babies in here, I would just put her on the on the two. Because it doesn't look, see, it doesn't look bad, especially for the size of her and the length of her. But she does have like a, a size small, uh, smaller. She could go a size smaller. So I said she'll size one. That's what size this baby wear. Size one shoe. Um, I'll check this little one for you guys really quick. This is a long video, guys, so you guys bear with me. But this little one, definitely going to be, I want to say, a zero. Because this, this, this foot is so much smaller. So, um, not that much smaller, but yeah, see, this is heel to heel. And it's depending on how the position of the foot too. So don't, don't, um, you know, freak out. This is a more baby. So the foot's supposed to be, you know, curled up and, and, and stuff. So yeah, so zero does really, <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. That is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. That is cute. Ah, I love it. Why haven't I been putting my babies on shoes? Who that got me hooked up on these, wanting to put these babies on some shoes? Who fault is this? Anyway, so I'm probably gonna have to, um, yeah, my little grandbabies will probably wear these a few times and then I'll get them back. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy them. I think I'm gonna just buy my grandbabies their own stuff because. I don't want them to have to share and I don't want to have to, you know, give away my stuff. So I'm going to just have to buy the new stuff, which I'll have to start shopping for them very, very soon. I've been doing little here or there, but nothing major. I'm going to go on a major shopping spree for them. And that's going to be crazy. But I'm going to be careful with how I do it because real babies do grow, outgrow their stuff. So, And all their furniture and all that stuff, I'm getting it back. <laughs> because they're, they're going to outgrow that stuff and not be able to use it. But I can still use it. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know in the comments if there's any other questions you'd like to know. And, again, like I said, my Lulu by Joanna Kazmarai will be available once it's done painting painted so i think by february i should have um maddie done for sure and lulu for sure and they both will be available for sale um lulu, uh, maddie does have a first right refusal already put on her so that's that but um yeah so i will talk to you guys later bye bye